who we met? Forgive me, I couldn't help but notice you were staring. Oh, you were staring. You tried to hide it, but I'm afraid you're not as skilled in the art of subtlety as you thought. Not that I minded. It was flattering to have caught the gaze of such an enchanting lady as yourself. Liberties, you say? I thought dropping the titles would just help us become better acquainted. But if you insist... I'm honored to meet the future son of our fair kingdom, your royal highness. I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive my lack of decorum. My mother always did say I neglected my lessons, but could you really blame me? Of course I know who you are. Do you honestly think that mask hides your identity? Sure, it may fool some, but... You have a lovely face, princess. One that makes it impossible to hide, even in a masked crowd like this. You seem to shine brightest in the room. Don't worry, though. I'll keep your secret safe. Oh, no need for your thanks. It's the least I could do. Though, perhaps you could settle something for me. Are the rumors true? Well, they used once scale the castle walls and heels to escape a lengthy dance lesson. I got 20 gold riding on your answer. <laughs> I, I suppose it is none of my business. Apologies. So, gotta say, a masked ball is an interesting choice for a coming out party. Wouldn't you want to know your dancing partners? You will be soon. The luxury is that you have a chance to choose your partner. Not everyone is so fortunate. Nice try. Afraid I won't reveal myself that easily. You were the one who demanded that we wear masks. Just because I'm a better detective than you, doesn't mean I'll let you in on who I am. Besides, it's more fun this way, don't you think? Not as a matter of opinion, Highness. I prefer quirky. Or perhaps entertaining. What? Well, a laugh? Oh, no, 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 no. That was a laugh. Covering it behind your gloved hand doesn't mask it. It was a laugh, and I will take that as a good thing. Oh, really? If you really wanted to, you could have the guards drag me out of here and throw me into the moat. But you haven't. So that tells me that you either enjoy our conversation or... <sighs> or that, yes. Though... Pompous ass isn't the term I would use. Well, how about... Charming. Enchanting. Oh, you have a blistering sense of humor. Whoever does take your hand must be prepared to give as good as they take. Oh? Why is that? Oh, I'm sure there would be someone noble and of the right lineage who isn't a total bore. The Earl of Sinclair, for example, is... Well, yes. But they did end up fishing him out of the lake, so there's... Uh, that. What about the Duke of Montmartre? I hear he's a fan of sports. Is that so? Drink can be a horrible vice. So, who is up to your standards, then? Oh, how harsh. Surely there must be someone. I'm not angling for anything. Unless you wish for me to pay court to you. <laughs> Relax. I'm teasing you. 
Still, it would be rude not to ask you to dance, shall we? I'm sure that story was exaggerated. Besides, if you do step on my feet, I promise not to cry out in agony. Shall we? Can I make a confession? Well, of course. The best confessions are made on the ballroom floor. Lovers whispering honeyed words, rivals making threats. It's the perfect place. The confession is this. You stepped on my toes already, and I'm pretty sure it was deliberately. <laughs> You're too much fun to tease. Forgive me. You must think me some rude oaf. No, I was simply going to say that you look stunning. You do. Not because you're the princess. Not because of the gown, although it is lovely. Nor your jewels that catch the candlelight. But because from the moment I caught your gaze, I was mesmerized by your eyes, sparkling brighter than stars. Song is over. Shall I escort you off? No. That is not my intention. If I wanted to seduce you, I'd have taken you to the gardens and stolen some kisses under the light of the full moon. I simply wished for you to know. Because I've seen how you look at court. So much duty burdening you. And now this. If you can't have that partner from the fairy tales you used to read, you could at least have this moment. Think of it as my wedding gift to you. Well, that would spoil the moment, I'm afraid. Who I am, how I know you, it doesn't matter. I'm just some charming stranger who whisked you away for one magical night. Or maybe I'm an annoying fool who thought that she knew what the crown princess needed. You can decide. But I just couldn't watch you walk down that aisle with that expression. No name, I'm afraid. I know. It's not fair of me. I know who you are. But trust me, this is for the best. And if you'll forgive me, the magic is about to run out. Almost midnight. I've already stayed far too long. You could, but you won't. Because ordering me to reveal who I am won't change what has happened tonight. Cruel, perhaps, but forgive me. Maybe I wanted that fairy tale moment too. All I know is that I was enchanted to meet you, Your Highness. Best wishes, always. <laughs>